on this episode, we are going to talk about calculating the finance charge, how banks actually do it, and how you can take advantage of knowing how banks do it. Um, so we basically really start with your average daily balance. Now they use the average because it's more beneficial to them. So you can't just pay something off and all of a sudden expect to, you know, have a zero finance charge. Um, and then you take basically your average daily balance, uh, multiply it by the number of days in the billing cycle, which will be on your statement. And finally, you multiply that by, by your daily percentage rate. Now that's actually your annual percentage rate converted to a daily number. Um, and that's how the finance charge is actually computed for the month or, you know, whenever your statement comes out. So we'll do a quick, quick example so that uh, you can actually, you know, see this, see this happen. Uh, we're going to assume $10,000 is your average daily balance. The number of days in the bill cycle, 30. And your APR is 19.99%. It's only 19 point. All right. Um, so we'll do that. And basically, if we convert the APR to a daily percentage rate, it comes out to 5.47 times 10 to the negative 4, a.k.a. 0. 0.0005476, whatever. Um, so we have $10,000 multiply that by 30 and then we multiply that by the daily percentage rate, which will give us in this case, um, a, a charge, basically a monthly charge of $164 and 28 cents. Now the question becomes, how can you use this to your advantage and to actually, you know, make this work for you? Well, you can't change the number of days in the billing cycle. You cannot change the annual percentage rate because that's given to you based on your credit. But what you can change is that average daily balance. Now, it's an average, so you have to think, hey, what's the best way to reduce the average? Well, have the lowest number for the maximum number of days. Okay, so you have the lowest balance for the, for the maximum number of days. So let's just say we take the same example. And instead of having a $10,000 balance, you're, you should say, I'm going to pay $1,000, but I'm just going to pay as soon as the statement comes out. That way, my average daily balance basically stays the same. Uh, so it's 9000 the whole time versus, you know, 9400 or whatever it would be if you paid in the middle of, of the, um, the statement date. So if we do the same calculations, we have 9000 times 30. We multiply that by uh, 0. 0.0005476. And we get $147.85 is your next finance charge. You basically just saved by paying ahead of time, by knowing how the finance charge is calculated, you basically just saved $16.43. Now, you might say that's not a lot of money, but you you know, kind of, you know, taking it to bigger numbers and bigger numbers, it becomes a lot of money. But it's something you can you can actually do tomorrow and you can say, hmm, how can I um, reduce the finance charge by the most so that I'm not charged so much, you know, in this economical game that we are in. So this is economics for today, um, and we'll, we'll go more into economics uh, later on. All right, that's how you calculate the finance charge.